All right, the scene I'm analyzing is from Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. I'm just going to play the scene through first, and then I'm going to break it down and look at some of the editing techniques being used. Nineteen sixty five, the great San Francisco acid wave. I recall one night in a place called the Matrix. There I was. Mother of God, there I am. Holy fuck. Uh clearly I was a victim of the drug explosion. A natural street freak. Just eating whatever came by. I decided to eat only half of the acid at first, but I spilled the rest on the sleeve of my red woolen shirt. What's the trouble? Well, all this white stuff on my sleeve is LSD. With a bit of luck, his life was ruined forever. Always thinking that just behind some narrow door in all his favorite bars, men in red woolen shirts are getting incredible kicks from things he'll never know. So now I'm going to replay that scene and I'm going to talk about the picture edit. The scene starts out and everything is in slow motion and it stays that same slow motion speed up until the bathroom sequence. Now at the bathroom sequence, the slow motion continues, but now after he spills the LSD, we get the use of jump cuts, and uh, it's very interesting because jump cuts are rarely used with slow motion, and it creates a very interesting uh, distortion of time, and this continues throughout the bathroom sequence, until the very ending of the scene. This is the last shot of the scene, and it's the only shot that is not in slow motion. It's just played through at regular speed uh, until the end of the scene. Now, since the picture edit in this scene uh, distorts time so much, it causes a lot of interesting things to be done with the sound. Uh, so now I'm going to play back the scene again, and I'm going to talk about some of the editing techniques done uh, in the sound edit. Nineteen sixty-five, the great San Francisco acid wave. So while the footage in the beginning of the scene is in slow motion, the sound of the band playing, as well as the narration, uh, remains playing at a regular speed, and this continues up until the drug dealer comes. Clearly, I was a victim of. Now this is the first time we hear any slow motion sound and it's interesting because it's being played over top of the music which is still playing at a regular speed. In the bathroom scene, uh, we start to get the use of non-degenic sound, specifically the clock ticking as well as uh, ringing of some bells. There's also some more uh, slow motion dialogue, however here the jump cuts cause the dialogue to become off sync. Now when the man walks into the bathroom, a uh, score starts to play, and it's interesting to note how well the score is synced up to the panning camera movement in, as well as the cut to the next shot.
And finally, we have the last shot of the scene, which is the only shot where both picture and sound are played out in regular speed. Bars. Men in red woolen shirts are getting incredible kicks from things he'll never know. So, in conclusion, I feel that what the filmmaker is trying to accomplish with this edit is to mimic some of the uh, time-distorting effects associated with the use of hallucinogenic drugs. And uh, one of the things that leads me to believe this is the shot at the very end of the scene that features the only character that we know is not on hallucinogenic drugs, and that shot is played out in regular speed, while the rest of the scene is edited in a way where time is altered and distorted. And that is it for my edit analysis presentation. So, in conclusion, uh, I feel like what the editing is trying to accomplish overall is uh, kind of mimicking some of the time distorting effects associated with hallucinogenic drugs. And one of the things that leads me to believe this is how the last shot, which features the only character who we know is not on any drugs, uh, is played out in regular speed while all of the other uh, shots throughout the clip are um, edited in a way where time is distorted.